Professor Sebring, congratulations. You had a big win here today in Middlesex County at the convention at Royal Albert Hall. How do you feel? Well, it's the first one and hopefully be the first of many. And even if uh, we don't secure as many lines as we think we can, we are running a very vigorous campaign for the primary to, do, to get this nomination. And I think we'll ultimately be successful because my message is resonating. You say your message is resonating. What about your message do you think resonated here today that the other candidates weren't able to express? Well, it resonated at the screening committee where I got over 60% of the vote and we needed 67% uh, to get the uh, endorsement of the screening committee. So that carried over today because of my message of limited government, free enterprise, civil liberties. The, it, these are issues I've been talking about for 35 years. As Senator Krillis said uh, in my conversation with him when I was asking him for uh, his advice about running, he said, Murray, you've got the intellect, you've got the ideas, you've got the energy, you've got the passion, you have the fundraising capability, all the things we need in the best candidate. And he said, you're the best candidate. And he also said, the county chairman should be happy to have you as the U.S. Senate candidate this year. So I'm quite gratified that Senator Krillis made that assessment. And today it was endorsed here in Middlesex County. Now, where does your race go from here? Well, we're going to go compete in the other conventions. We have open primaries in some of the big Republican counties like Sussex and Somerset. And we think we're going to do very well at those counties because it's the conservative Republican message of limited government, a message I've been, I've embraced for 45 years, since 1969, when I first became a Republican in New York City. It was only being a young Jewish Republican in New York City. <laughs>